welcome back to the second part of the Tommy and Legion podcast, College Prefect Edition. We are joined here today by former first eleven cricketer Kishan Singh, Shyam Biratunga, the deputy head prefect Manika Panayanto, Shokhe Tiriboria, Manitu Rabel, and I myself and Piresh Devi. Uh, so Shokhe, why don't you give us an insight into this year's souvenir, considering how well, we won't be able to sell most of them. How will it be done this year? So, just so you all know, this year's editor or editors are Shoket, Billy Moria, Nawad Fernando and Gavin Botejo, both of them aren't here. But Shoket will give you an insight on how it is. So, uh, basically the initial plan with the souvenir was, if, I don't know if the people watching this saw the online magazine this year, the college magazine, but that was published completely online. There's no hard copy version of it as of now. But what we realized is that there are so many people who have collections of the souvenir. The souvenir isn't just a book for most people, it's a collector's item. Yeah, even actually. Yeah, so, so we thought that the best way to do that is to actually print out a limited edition for those people who collect. Because even though they can't be at Big Match, that doesn't mean that they can't have something from Big Match to remember this Big Match. Yeah. So having that in mind, we went ahead and we're actually working on an actual physical souvenir. But we're not painting, so normally we paint 5,000. This time we're only painting 3,000. So it's 300. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we were like, wait. We're only painting 300 uh, copies of this particular souvenir. And of course, the thing is, most, most, actually, no, but half of the content that's going to be in that souvenir will also be on the website that we'll talk about later. That's just for the general people to look at. But if you really want to see what's in this book, you have to get it yourself and also obviously it's not just going to be the book uh, you get a couple of other items along with that book that we won't get into just yeah to make it, you know, no spoilers no spoilers <laughs> those are for only people yeah, who yeah. are gonna uh, spend their money to get the limited edition and yeah. who will be getting yeah. it so we're give any major spoilers major spoilers <laughs> oh god <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but basically yeah that's what we're doing and we're, we're really excited actually this one is going to be very very special and be very, very different to what most of the It's been for the last yeah. 141 years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so normally building up to big match, the whole atmosphere in school is, it's very hyped around school. Mm-hmm. Everyone's mm-hmm. expecting a big match. Everyone's um, running around. They're, they're literally, it's like they're high on sugar. Yeah. Okay. And then we'll be, then we are having um, matches that are happening in school, people will come with their flags, they'll be waving it around. Uh, classes would have been classes cut. Would have been <laughs> cut. <laughs> the junior classes will start decorating their classes with the flags and everything, but uh, this year it's not, it's not happening. Because well, we only have the classes, the grades that are facing uh, government examination, so the grade 11s, the grade 5s, and well, the call E's, that's the A level guys. So, the atmosphere around school is not what we would we would have hoped for any other year and it being our last year it's a bit sad, it's a bit yeah. sad. it's it yeah, you can't even say what it feels like so but still the legion has been working the legion has been working really hard yeah, okay? <laughs> okay and i think shine will give you an insight into that uh, so my committee and i have for now made two videos and we have another four coming up uh, together with all the posters together with the posters as well but since there aren't many students uh, we are going for a more social media based like to build the hype up and the ambience because uh, I don't think students will be coming anytime soon because of the COVID regulations and so we're trying to get it get the hype up in different ways uh, so we thought about having podcasts like this there will be more to come uh, we'll be interviewing the current captain Charlene Demille and all the past captains who played a major role and sorry and players who played a major role in that match and uh, before that, and and then also we'll be doing uh, so it's a new concept this year with the Omen Legion website it will give you a basic Insight. insight a run through about big match so we'll be having player profiles the normal caricatures will be a bit different this year 
so that's up to all to log into the website and see yeah we have the records that are going on it there are new records that have been added this year like the fielding records and stuff like that then all the interviews all the podcasts the fun pages all the jokes which are a bit dark <laughs> this year <laughs> uh, <laughs> considering dark, our humor considering our humor it's dark but i mean that's the big match vibe all the yeah. jokes <laughs> in big match dark. are dark okay and so uh, together with that we are running with the hashtag it's staying home this year because also hashtag 142 hashtag 142 because obviously it's staying home it's not going anywhere mm-hmm. from here Anytime, anytime soon we'll go to Hamman to then come back yeah small thing well speaking about that speaking about that Hamman to then so me and one of my community members actually went to Hamman to then to take uh, the 360 degree view footage of the Surya Baba ground which you will be able to see on the website when it's released uh the ground is absolutely beautiful it's, you don't expect something there because hamantota and the surroundings mm. is a barren area like there's no oh, high we structures <laughs> we know this <laughs> say <laughs> it's okay do you remember that trip event <laughs> <laughs> no one talked talk about that <laughs> uh we can expect a lot of swing and seam from the fast bowlers and a lot of spin i and now we expect from we just can be like we are at the table yeah. <laughs> Yeah <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, actually we went there while Royal was playing a cricket match and the Royal coach was really was kind enough to actually stop the match so we could take this footage and we got uh, permission from Mr Mahesh who works inside the grounds who he w- who who actually gave us the ideas to take footage from the main gate all the way across the grounds and we were able to get some really nice shots which you will be able to see in one of our videos soon. <laughs> so you uh, so please yeah, follow and share on the Instagram page of the Bombay Legion. Yeah. And also we are really and excited for the website launch. And you'll be able to yeah. find all of these things as well on the website as well. This year the team lineup is a pretty brilliant one. We have captaining the team Shalin Dimel who is a fellow college prefect and one of our own batchmates and it's it's we are really proud to see him mm. captaining the team because we've known I've known him since I was really small I've gro- we've all grown up with him yeah. and yeah. it Excellent. it's a different type of um what is called feeling to see your it's own it's a different type of yeah, feeling yeah. with when you see your own batchmate and Shalin has been waiting for this moment for a long time it's crazy he there's fun facts really shook it so i used to go through his phone because just just He's giving me his phone during match and stuff, and he's so normally people have like countdowns for big match, and it's normal because everyone's hyped and excited. Yeah. But the hype for that particular year is big match, so now we all have one forty second countdowns. But we started those this year. <laughs> Charlene said a one forty second countdown before the one forty first match that. even took place. <laughs> that talks about the commitment and yeah. the determination he has. Uh, our vice captain this year is Ryan Fernando again, another college prefect. So, and our secretary is uh, Kenniston. Yeah. So, Kishan, can you give us a rundown about the team this year, or uh, from what we know as of now, when filming? So, we only have four colours from this year, so the team is pretty young. Uh, so, most of the players who played last year, like about. six players or so left school so yeah. that's why this year's team is really young so they they started the season a few weeks ago uh how is how, the team doing with so many colors and not being there so it hasn't affected okay it has kind of affected it a bit because the younger players are inexperienced so the colors men have a bigger role bigger role to play they have to they have to like Take mentor the younger players yeah, okay. and bring up the whole team and also it's been only shalin and kaniston for some time because ryan had to quarantine himself yeah ryan had and yasiru had olivers had his olivers so it's just been the two as of yet who have been mentoring and working really hard ryan has since recently come in and he has also been performing well in his uh, matches and he recently scored 77 yeah. yeah 
so let's say i think with all of their insight it's gonna go pretty well and obviously our team is going to do brilliantly at uh, a month or two i think there's mm. no question there yeah they would continue to do well in the future but uh, all of all of us you all only one has actually seen the match as a prep i so you came for prep in very age so is there any different to being like from mom or is it the same like and then that you just go a big match for like the just sake of say, it. just, just say, because you're yeah, at home just say you can give a big match or you know in my college it's told that if you go there and support the team like the years i got here a complete different like when i went to big match at prepa i can't do anything to be honest okay like it was not memorable at all when i came in from grade 8 onward like every year there was something happening from the time the boys they in the stables to almost everything like doing duty everything has been more memorable to me dinesh uh last year's big match again like we said in the previous um in the previous segment it was com- it was a completely dif- on a different level but you came to big match after playing match after playing a rugby match and after practicing you had never been to a like last year also as a house prefect you yeah, couldn't come you, because yeah. of uh, rugby yeah. practices but this year coincidentally you all were able to come because your calendars uh gave you all the chance for that how was it this year how was the whole uh, uh first of all uh, we were only able to come because the uh, josephians uh, Jus- uh, uh, accepted our request to play the match on the wednesday which we usually play on saturday so that was a very generous part of them uh after the match all of us we were all the prefects we were actually talking we were telling ourselves that we were very tired and we would be able to do duty but when we went there our opinions changed completely and so glad that we came and played uh on that matter i have actually not really done duty as a house prefect and in that sense i feel kind of guilty because i feel uh, that there have been those other uh, some uh, the batchmates who have done all this duty they've gone through all these tough times and i feel it's unfair for me not to do that and get to go straight to college prefect duty but, but i guess you all had a different commitment and yeah, i think you all yeah, so made that commitment You all made a commitment when you all were becoming rugby. The only thing I want to ask you is like, uh, one forty of the year we won. Being at the ground is a completely different experience. Like one of the best memories I've ever had in my life. And unfortunately, it was the rugby team had their own coach just two days after that. You all weren't there, but you all did celebrate together, right? From what I've heard. So what was that like? Yeah. So we 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 got to come on second day. We were actually at a camp at school, so we'd start practice early morning. But on the second day, our coach allowed us. He came with us actually. We all went to boys' day, uh, and we watched the match on the second day for about an hour or two. Yeah, I remember that. That was actually that was actually a very good uh, team bonding thing because we got to go together. We all we didn't actually wear any support the team because we wanted to show that show everyone that we came as a team. So we were. I think it was a black T-shirt also, but yeah. Uh, then on the third day after our final session, practice session for the day, we were watching the last bit of the match. We we knew we were getting highlights actually from our coaches. <laughs> They were telling us uh, that how uh, many wickets had fallen, how many wickets had fallen, and so on and so on. So finally, after the session, we were having our warm down, and we were all just watching. There were only four phones at that time. There. Everyone else had their phones, but there were four phones with the proper screen. Yes, so we were watching, and it was just crazy because each phone had different connections. So, <laughs> so <laughs> one phone saw it go for four, the next phone saw it like three seconds later on it, and yeah, and we were all just watching that different pass, but we were all still together, which was very really actually nice. Then finally, when Charlie hit the It's mini cool runs, cool we shot. that cool shot, uh, we remember it was. Uh, And it was the next step. We might have not been able to enjoy the atmosphere, but that was also something that we. That's a different memory. I don't think we can uh, relate to that memory. Yeah, that is that is a different experience. I don't think any team. I don't think you can relate that or anything like that. We may win more big matches in the future, but we can't get that kind of experience. Although Royal Tomin is meant to be friendly right. rivalry. I think I know where this is going. <laughs> Usually after <laughs> the match, uh, it ends up. In a fight, 
so we have someone who's actually <laughs> got <laughs> got okay, we're asking the wrong person he doesn't remember that <laughs> I, who got involved with one not intentionally yeah because okay i'm going to explain myself here because <laughs> <laughs> just shattered the glass before they shattered these glasses <laughs> <laughs> the uh, no thing is okay when you see a crowd of 100 200 people coming towards the boys tent and coming through the fence you freeze okay and there was a small manly who was nicely eating his ice cream seated <laughs> there on the chair and he's eating and at one moment he stops and he's just staring at the people who's coming and i was like if he gets caught i'm genuinely saying he would have he, you Stop never know what to dare come so i just went and i just pulled him out pulled him out threw him this side and i looked back this side i saw fish coming to my face and i was like okay okay and i pulled up the glass <laughs> Like, yeah so next thing i did i just threw my pole at the flag pole yeah, at yeah, them <laughs> <laughs> okay so the next thing i did was that i threw my flag pole at them i hit someone the flag went with it with the, with itself hit the flag went next my hat went next my specs went, and the next thing i knew i was being pulled out again <laughs> some of the other all the others had got together and barricaded the whole area and they the security came they sent everyone out Five minutes later, one of my friends was taking me to CRNFC, and they kept the ice. And then I was taken home. I got a good scolding at home for getting myself involved. But anyway, came back to school. We have a traditional prefix dinner after school. Mm. I came for that because I am for sure not uh, missing that for any reason. And yeah, that was pretty much it. So big match this year is. And no, it won't be the same. It's a novel concept, the whole bubble concept, where they will be quarantining. The players will be quarantining themselves uh, in Hamban Tota, and where we'll, they'll be playing the match. We are yet to know whether we will be uh, able to go. We are yet to know the whole fingers process crossed. going fingers there. Crossed, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. As always, we'll be having a prefix match. The, uh, yeah. Against Tomian the royal prefix. prefix versus the royal prefix. Um, in. On the tenth, yeah. on the tenth of yeah. April, uh, the house prefix and the college prefix match. There's a lot that there's, there's a lot that leads up to big match. Then there's the staff versus the prefix match. Yeah. House prefix. Yeah. College house prefix versus the college, college prefix. All of those. So that those. Is, that's a completely fair game. So yeah. It's not biased. It's not biased at all. Uh, we don't yeah. cheat. What is that? <laughs> But uh, yeah, those things will be happening. Yeah. Yeah, and school will hopefully be coming. Uh, starting again, fully on the okay, 19th of I April, and so by that time we'll be getting the hype back up for right. sure. And um, that's pretty much it. So I hope all of you uh, log into our uh, website. website, which will be coming at tomianlegion.com mm. or dot lk. We are still planning stuff out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and um, there'll be more podcasts to come. There'll be more podcasts. podcasts there'll be more interviews. Good. Check out our Instagram pages. All of that. And that's pretty much it. Hope uh, you all have an amazing big match season, and see you. Uh, thank you for watching, and also one more thing, we would, uh, on behalf of the college prefix, we'd like to wish Shalin and the team uh, yeah. the best of luck, and we are cheering for you. Good luck, Shalin. What is your coping mechanism? What are you battling today, my friends? Use the privilege of prayer and posture your heart in submission. Let's trust God to work. everything out for our good as he promises oh i see evadame oh see i see best chicken edat adat kavada dunne best ma deni rasin tatwin sa surakshita bavin pirpun cic chicken then best onamin best chicken best ma tarin cic vetin oh i see evadame oh see i see best chicken edat adat kavada dunne best ma deni rasin tatwin sa surakshita bavin pirpun cic chicken then best onamin best chicken best ma tarin cic vetin